But with that completion of the infiltration of Finn, our next job is to make our way back to Altair. And who rearranged the party sprite? Now that we know how to face these guys, the best thing to do is just kick them with a chocobo. And we should not have enough MP to make it all the way back to Altair. There we go. Triple digit damage this early in. And we gotta level up for Guy. No, that didn't, that didn't quite work. Nope, you cannot dash on the world map. Now, I'm curious. The way the FF2 map works... Yeah, if you want to... Well, they may, they may not be able to head too far north. In FF2, if you want to run into enemies that are much stronger at this point in the game, you would continue going north from Finn. You probably need the item that lets you traverse over shallow water, but... You can still reach many places very early in the game. Of course, you have to beef yourself up enough to be able to reach them. But with the way that system, the system works in that game, it is very possible. One step encounter, technically. Oh, rat! Surprised. These guys still hurt a lot. and I hope we can get you some better equipment. Okay, smoke bomb, so... Uh, yeah, he's basically a ninja at this point. Not, not quite the magic knight I thought he would be. But then again, there is no oh, magic knight in FF4. Or mystic knight, if you want to. Well, that begs the question, do I continue to give him light armor or try, try him out with heavy armor? The other problem with that is things are so expensive, I don't know. <laughs> and do a quick... 46. Yeah, it looks like Maria is going to be the slowest to level up, just like Rydia. But back in Altair, we can report our findings, and I want to double check something. The magic sigil. Hey, we do not need to stay at the inn. But we just barely got our money back from when we had to. Oh wait, yeah, let's go, let's go ahead and talk to Gordon. That ring! It's my brother's! Scott really said all those things about me? Yeah, I will say I will say this, Gordon gets better. And where's the king's bed chamber? Uh back through the Fabul Tower. And remember, I can dash, I can dash. Hold hold the B button. Let's report. Up. Oh. Uh, da 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 da. So we've lost Scott as well. He'd proposed to Hilda, you know. Now he'll never hear her answer. I'd always thought he'd make a fine husband for her. Our crest has been trampled underfoot by the Imperial Army. I think we could be so easily defeated. What's that? Borgen betrayed us! Then we did not fall to the sword, but to the corrupt hearts of men. That is the nice thing about non-story triggers, is... Characters will repeat and repeat the same things over and over again. That ring belonged to Scott! Is he... is he alive? He gave us this ring in Finn, just before he lost the last of his strength. Did he say anything? No. Nothing. Your Highness, please. The ring belongs with you. No, keep it. It suits men of courage. You infiltrated Finn and returned to tell the tale. 
You've proven that you're quite capable. It would seem I underestimated your strength. I would have you lend that strength to our cause. There's a magical metal known as Mithril. We need strong warriors if we are to obtain it. We lost Finn because we were ill-equipped. The Empire wielded equipment made of Mithril. I have charged Joseph, a man living in Salamand, with the task of finding a source of Mithril. I do not know the cause, but we've been out of contact with him for some time now. Would you go with Minwu to Salamand to look into this? Ah, at last, you've returned from Finn. I've been waiting for you. I would like to fight alongside you all. In addition, you are free to use my hovercraft as you see fit. Minwu joined and the hovercraft was obtained. Another question. Don't worry, Master Minwu. I'll look after the princess while you're away. So, uh, Minwu. Uh, is that his, I think that's his PS1 sprite. Maybe his PSP sprite. I actually don't know for sure, but yep. Uh, level 20. White wizard, right handed, renowned white wizard of Basidia and the brains of the rebel army. What has he got equipped? So just a staff. And not much different from what we've already got. So let's go ahead and. Put him in the back row. And there we go. Go ahead and take a little hovercraft ride around the area. And hey, we can put Minwoo in front. Hovercraft appears just outside of town. And let's just take a look. I'm curious about one thing. Remember what I said about being able to access places you shouldn't be able to early on in the original? Well, the other thing is, with the, with the canoe you receive, you can't avoid random encounters. With this hovercraft, you can. However, <laughs> yep, they, they, they saw that coming. So we, we, we could attempt to go to a place we shouldn't be able to, but since we'd have to actually walk, we wouldn't get far. And a nice, yep. So yeah, they already decided, yeah, we're not gonna let you break the game with just the hovercraft. So that is just means of getting from point A to point B. And in this case, can I keep going? I can. But let's check out the town of Paloom as they told us about. Which is Kaipo. The Empire has an attack Paloom or Poft, at least not yet. Once you pass Poft, all the cities like Basque and Salomon are under the Empire's control. Excuse the hiccup. Got some new weapons. Oh, Kunai, Battle Axe. Oh. Bow and holy arrows, and uh, yeah, Minwu's sprite was looks like it was redone from from scratch. It looks pretty good. And uh, if I want to grind for stuff, I will do that off screen. I don't know how long this recording session will be. That's the other thing. Nothing really new there. Got a hovercraft, yeah? You can use it to travel across the shallow waters. It's much safer than taking a boat. Oh, ship heading out of our little port will take you straight to Poft. But I can probably take the hovercraft there. Hope you carry a fat wallet, mister. Everything here is mighty pricey, just so you know. Yeah, we suddenly found ourselves in the uh, second floor of the pub in Troya. I have, I have to make sure everyone gets what they ordered. Oh, one lady's glass coming up. Uh, Yeah, there's only this uh, guy in here. It's good to finally be back after so long. Tonight I'm going to drink like a sink. No, oh, don't get it my way. And again, that looks more like a motel than a pub. Oh, wait, no, this isn't Kaipo. This is Taroya. Duh. This is Plume. It's just a little port town. Plume's a town of freedom. Want to settle down here with me, handsome? Why do I think it was Kaipo? Probably just because of the way the entrance looked. Thanks to ample water and greenery here, we can grow fresh vegetables and eat raised chocobos. And they're all black chocobos! Black chocobos are a rare sight, you know? The ones that can't fly... Uh, these ones can't fly since they've been domesticated, but wild ones can. They can only land in forests, though. So at some point, we'll probably have to get a black chocobo. 
Oh, Chocobos are so cute! Cameo from an FF10 guy! I want to make our way over to this corner. I feel like I'm playing one of those sliding puzzles. Oh, no Geisha Greens in here. Quack. And they all say that. <laughs> so I got the Wyburn reference, the cameo from Clasco from FF10. I think finding the little the little Easter eggs are going to be one of the fun things about this. Can I talk to you? Yep. What's in our item shop? Nothing unusual. Oh, I forgot to check Minu's spells. It's... Yeah, he's basically got... <laughs> All the white spells. Ooh. He actually has an offensive spell. Ah, it's a slow snake. Reflect, dispel, Libra, hold, silence, confuse, blink, Essena, raise, arise, mini me, teleport, protect, so yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and put uh, arrow in front, because, yeah, his main offense is probably gonna be that. I'm gonna do a little fighting around town just to. Okay, this inn is... I think it's just a rehash of the Mist Village Inn. But we got a little port town surrounded by forests. Well, they had to use what was available. Oh, hello! Give us a kiss. Well, thank you, game, for giving me money to buy some new weapons right away. Now, here's my theory. Uh, Leonora will join the party at some point as a permanent white mage, while Maria will basically be the Rydia, black mage and summoner. Let's go ahead and... buy these weapons... Kunai, oh yeah, nice 14. The other question is... I want to double check something. I, I highly doubt this is the case. Yep, Farian cannot dual wield. Another thing I want to check. Okay, 77766, evasion 45. Is it better for him to have a shield or not have a shield? Vision 25. Okay, so. Yeah, it's better for him to have a shield. I still, and I got so excited when he was called a sword mage. I was hoping he would be a mystic knight. Oh, let's give the guy his battle axe, too. Yep, nice boost for both of them. And worst comes to worst, we can retreat back to Altair to heal up. And anything in the armor shop to be worth buying? Nothing we can afford. At best, the feather caps. If I want to upgrade Maria's, make her an archer still later on, I may do that. Uh, uh, we got new enemies around here, that's what, that's what I want to see. Not dive eagles, so nothing new. Go ahead. Oh, uh, Minwu has the region ability. I like this guy. Now, well, during that battle, I thought, I'm just going to hit and give Maria uh, her bow and arrows back. Since that way, if she just needs to do, inflict a little bit of damage. And not need to waste MP, she'll be fine. Okay, so that, okay, it's nice, nice of the game to give us a means around that forest. I'm looking for Poft. Is that it? That looks like it. 
take a look inside. Yep, Poft. Okay, this is Silvera. You're looking for Sid? He's probably over in the pub. I hear a few guild getting right on that airship of his. You got a hovercraft, yeah? You can use it to... Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, I did see an option to... Uh, to be able to ride the boat between Loon and Poft. Just a little more information on the locations. Oh, another Clusa. Definitely just throwing weapons at this point. I'm gonna save those for boss fights. Antarctic Wind. I, I'm gonna save that for much later. Have you seen the airship? It belongs to a fellow named Sid who lives here in Poft. He's the only one around who can fly it. They took care of all the hidden items. Hey, they even kept the same pig merchant. Magic hammer. I don't know what that does. I don't want to spend that money that I have so little of at the moment to find out. Oh, I didn't check the... No, I think these these just match the... Look, like it's an ice rod. Ooh. Uh, okay, this is actually a... This is actually a tough call. Because Maria could use the ice rod as an item in battle. There's the holy arrows, but of course, up her damage. Well, I'm gonna be reckless and try both. Oh, nice boost, uh, 16. And the other thing is I'm gonna put that close, because the other thing is, using it as an item in battle isn't necessarily all that strong. Certainly not compared to FF1. Okay, Iron Gear. Uh, if I had enough, I would buy Fury and some Iron Gloves, but... Nope. i just have to try out both. Let's see... You here to ride my airship? If you got the guild, there's no place me and my guys can't take you. Well... Flight of Basque, nope. Salaman, nope. Temet Falls, nope. Kashwan, nope. <laughs> we cannot afford it. Basque, the city to our east is under control of the Empire. They're building something terrible there. All the girls here are so hot, hot, hot! Or so everyone says, but there's only one girl here! Hey there, cutie, how's about a drink? Pretty please? No, oh, I'm broke! And by the way, why are you flirting with, <laughs> with Maria? <clears throat> Oh, Maria. Uh, excuse me, I'm trying to practice my singing here. Can you please leave? Huh? You're also named Maria? Wow, what a coincidence. Oh, there's our little FF6 Easter egg. Whatever. I suppose we... Uh, whatever is more of Squall's catchphrase. Who are you trying to be? Oh. Okay, now that is just blatant. And Nemingway is Nemingway. <laughs> 